Hey, it's AP and today we're installing a ceiling light. Check it out. I'm currently in the process of renovating our bathroom. And one thing that it's really missing is some light. Yeah, we have a window that lets in some natural light, but the way of the layout of the bathroom where there's a three wall alcove tub, that blocks out some of that natural light. And so when you're taking a bath or a shower in the morning, it can be very dark in the bath or shower area. So we thought it was the perfect time to install a ceiling light in the shower area. Now, if this was a true full gut renovation, I would have taken off the drywall on the ceilings, but I didn't because I didn't want to touch the ceilings because I hate drywalling ceilings. It's just not fun. It's not fun at all. So I picked up this cool LED wafer light that is rated for wet and dry areas, meaning that I can put it into my bathroom. And uh, what this does is you pretty much cut a hole, run some wires, and then pop this in the hole. These little clips here hold it in the, uh, in the ceiling, actually here. So you got just kind of like clips, clips like that. See, look at that. Look at that demonst demonstration right there. How cool is that? And as you can see, it sits pretty flush against the drywall. So in essence, this should be relatively easy to do without damaging the ceilings too much. I will have to cut a hole for this, and then I'll also have to cut a hole to run the wires into the, uh, the walls here. Now, the first thing that I have to do is figure out how I'm going to run my wire. Now, fortunately, the joists in the attic are running this way. <laughs> and they're running straight down to where I'm eventually going to get the light switch. There's the main power coming in. So that makes my life a little bit easier because I don't have to navigate going across the joists in any weird way. Now I do want this over the shower, so I am gonna have to get a little bit creative because the, the switch wall is over one kind of baffle, or whatever you call it. So I'm going to move the light over to this area, run the wire through, down here, and then over into the switch. It will hopefully make sense and I won't, won't break anything. Yeah, okay. But first, I need to cut the hole out. Now, the instructions give us, oh, did I lose them? Found it. All right. So the instructions give us a template to use uh, to help us mark the size hole that we are going to need to insert our light. How generous of them. So I have an idea of where I want the light to go. So I'm just gonna hop on my step stool and draw the circle. A six inch hole saw will make easy work of this as you won't have to draw the circle out or kill your arms and neck trying to cut a hole in the ceiling. I cut a rectangular piece of drywall out near the wall so I could easily grab the cable and pull through. I then drilled a hole through the top plate and the stud so I could get the cable over to my switch. Since this is a short run, I can just push the Romex through. If I was doing a longer one, I'd use some sort of cable snake to help me out. Now just wire the light per the instructions. This instrument is cool as the wires just pressure fit into the connectors within the junction box. Just make sure they're nice and tight. Then you just place everything in the junction box and it clips shut. When wiring up the switch, make sure the breaker is off and that you're taking into account any other wires coming into the box for other lights. This box will share the vanity light as well, so I labeled them with tape. All right, I've wired up the switch and now is the moment of truth. It worked! Alright, now I just have to insert this into the ceiling and we can call this portion of the project complete. The instructions have you mount the junction box with some screws onto the joist. 
I had to use my impact drill since the hole was so tiny. Once in place, I popped the wafer light in, and we now have light in our shower. This is an awful angle, but I wanted to make sure I got the light in here as well. Now we can see in the shower. This is a relatively simple and low cost project that has a huge impact on your bathing experience. Now your situation may be different. I totally lucked out that my joists were going the right way so I could easily just run my cables through them and then down. You might have your joists going the opposite direction and that means you're gonna have to cut more holes and drill more holes into your joists to run the cable properly. So just be cautious of that. All in all though, for an afternoon's worth of work and less than $40 worth of materials, you can't go wrong. Oh, one more thing. You may have seen through the video where the, the cellulose insulation was falling on me. Uh, a few years back, we actually did have that tested as well as the plasterboard tested for asbestos and other things, and it came back clear. So it was safe for me. But something to think about if you're in an old house and you're doing some renovations, you're going to want to test all the strange stuff just to make sure you're not going to be working with asbestos because the last thing you want is to kick that stuff up into the air that you're breathing. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you learned something new today. And if you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you're giving this project a go or a project similar to it a go, let me know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're notified every time I upload new project videos. It's totally free. So just subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. All right, folks, until next time, stop planning and start doing. Thanks, everyone.